Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at a team around Politoed. Politoed is a Pokemon that I haven't really seen a lot recently, especially not against me, as this Pokemon got nerfed, I think two seasons ago or three seasons ago, where Weather Ball got now basically does five less damage, I think. I think it's now a 55 damage move instead of a 60 damage move. Doesn't seem to be the biggest deal, but it kind of was for Politoed. And now I kind of want to take a look if this Pokemon still can do anything in this meta. And I have to say, it still is pretty, pretty damn decent. The only issue for this team is the opponent's Warrain. Warrain is a little bit tricky to deal with this team because, of course, we don't really have the hardest answer for this Pokemon. Still, we have our Talonflame, which is kind of ish neutral, but the Warrain kind of outworks it a lot of times. And then we have the Swampert, which still can do something against it as well, as we have Earthquake on it, but it's still not the easiest one here. But still, I kind of wanted to try out Double Mud Boy here, as Double Mud Boy can do a lot of stuff in this meta. We get the shield from the opponent here as well. We will be able to swap into our Politoed, and we can spam those Weather Balls. Weather Ball is still super spammy, as you can see here as well. I'm just going to get to the move again. And we're also super bulky. We will be able to survive this move here, and we will be able to go for another Weather Ball, as this will get the shield from the opponent. And we can just farm them all the way down with our own Swampert. We shield once and we should be pretty pretty fine depending on what they have in the bag. We will be able to farm them all the way down and see Talonflame which is going to surrender now. Very good first game for us and I had a great run with this team actually. Even though Warren is an issue definitely. I still had a great run with this team, especially Politoed as a Seasop is pretty cool. We are running the Blizzard here because I expect more people to run something like a Traveler in the back that would want to swap in against me. Um, you can run Earthquake. Earthquake is a legacy move. You would need to use an Elite Charge TM for this move, but um, I actually had Earthquake on this Pokemon before and used my Elite Charge TM and then went back to Blizzard and just deleted it because there were just more opportunities where I wanted to use Blizzard. Yeah, this is an opportunity for it, but I'm deciding to go for the shield bait because I thought my opponent might expect it. Turns out they didn't, and of course I'm going to shield now up here this one. The weather ball comes through, I can go for another weather ball uh, there against them. This will get their shield, which is nice, and I sadly don't get to my charge move, which is horrible because this kind of destroys me the game plan there. Because now they can just swap into the war rain. And they will have a great time here. I have to farm them all the way down with my Swampert. I should be able to do it, I think, before they can get to a second move. But um, still, we're going to be super low. And we still have to hit like an Earthquake or something against the opponent's um, Trevenant. But they're going to go into a Cobalion, which we actually one shot here, which is cool. But I should have got my energy there as well. Maybe I still had a chance if I got more energy against the Cobalion, to be fair. But like this, we sadly go down just barely there. If we hit more Weather Balls even against this Trevenant, we would have been fine. But... The matchup against my Politoed wasn't the best. Another answer for this team is Tabu Fini. Tabu Fini is also kind of awkward to deal with this team. Your lead cannot really deal with it. But actually, the Politoed matchup is pretty damn neutral, even though, of course, Moonblast is uh, neutral against you. The fast move of them is resisted, which makes the biggest amount of damage that Tabu Fini really does to you. And you are very bulky, so you're going to be able to also survive something like the Zap can here pretty easily. And look at this matchup against Reggie Steel. Of course, it looks really horrible on paper but um, they kind of always want to farm you down here because they don't want to give you uh, much energy with your um, Pokemon you're gonna come in with afterwards. We already got one shield expecting them like to shield the Earthquake from me which I could of course potentially have and we will be able to go even for more Weather Balls here as we will be able to reach a last one with 1 HP and a Dream which I will be able to get the final shield by the opponent. I can go ahead and go into my Talonflame, I can shield this up because even if they come back into the Tapu Fini we have the Earthquake stored for this but we can also go into our Swampert already and um, yeah the Brave Bird I mean the Brave Bird stored for it and we can go for our Swampert now for one Earthquake. They are not swapping out which is amazing for me this will be enough to not knock them out but knock them into a range I can farm them all the way down hopefully. As we see the Surf coming through, we see a Stunfist coming in, and they don't like to get hit by an Earthquake either, I think, as this will also not knock them out, but I will put them into range where I can just farm them down with my Talonflame in the back, and I will be able to get to another move against the incoming Tapu Fini as well, and they will be able to surrender there. We need to see a Nidoqueen against us in the lead. Maybe I should actually swap out against Nidoqueen, I just usually take a shield and then swap out, because getting a shield advantage with Politoed is also nice, because... The hardest answers for Politoed are usually weak to the Blizzard move, which would be really decent here for this scenario as well, but we see them going straight for a charge move here as well, which we can now answer with my own 
charge move, the weather ball coming through, disaligning the opponent and myself with the um, charge, but like the switch time as well, which is pretty decent, but not really against this Tapu Fini, which going to be a little bit of a problem here, as this thing now is still in range where I can go for an earthquake and knock them out, but it's kind of not in range where I can just go for hydro cans and knock them out. So it's a little bit of a trickier one. We will see the surf coming through. We will see that I am going to be able to go for the hydro can now. I opted to go for the hydro can because it's a little bit safer. I will be able to two shot them, but if I just went for another um, weather ball immediately afterwards, I would have been able to put them into range for one hydro can alone, which would have been fine. But like this, it's going to be a little bit tricky as we see the opponent's crafty coming in. We're going to get them low, but they will be able to now knock us out here. But actually, I have to shield up this opponent's poison fang. I will be able to go for one um, flame charge here against these crafty, which will do enough to knock them out if they wanted to, but they're going to go ahead and go for one power punch, which will now knock me out with uh, some more counters, and we will sadly will lose this game. Never mind, we will be able to hit the charge move in the last second, seeing Pita against the opponent, and we will be able to win this game just barely at the end there, as we see a very decent lead for us with the uh, Traven, and we see a Tapu Fini coming in, means we go straight for the Brave Bird. Which sadly, usually is also a CMP tie with the opponent, which is not really ideal for me. I will be able to go into my Swampert now, which has an okayish matchup. I guess I can take one move here, and I should be pretty fine as they're now in range for an Earthquake, which is cool. I will be able to overfarm a little bit, and I will be able to definitely realign my Pokemon, which is nice. But also, Trevon with energy against my Talonflame is not the best po move either, because um, Trevon with energy actually can beat the Talonflame, especially as I have some pre-damage here already from the Water Gun from the opponent. I will be able to go into my Talonflame though, and I will be able to shield up the next move, which puts them into range for one with a ball already. And I make a huge mistake here by going for the Brave Bird. I have no idea why I did this. I should have just went straight for the Flame Charge, and I would have been way better off. But, uh, yeah, that's just me doing some weird stuff there again. I will be able to go for some weather bolts against the scramble. But sadly, the Granbull will be able to go for another move here, which is going to be the Crunch, because they don't want to debuff themselves, I guess. Or they don't want to give me some farm with my Talonflame. Either it's fine for me, I will be able to knock them out, and I will be also able to knock out the opponent's Trevenant with one more weather ball. Politoed coming in clutch again, this Pokemon still is definitely viable. Next opponent, we will see a Perserker in the lead. This is okayish for us, but what is not okayish for us is this incoming Blastoise. Blastoise is super bulky and I would have been easily able to take this move as well. I am going to shield this move up and I have to go into my own... Um, I actually went into my Politoed, which is interesting, but I don't know why, because Politoed, at least the fast move, is neutral. Um, I resist all their moves because usually they run Ice Beam in this meta. Nobody really wants Skullbish because Skullbish um, makes you basically completely resisted from Giratina. And you kind of really want the Ice Beam for potential flying types, Giratina or whatever. So um, I should be able to completely hardwall them and you can see it here already. I will be able to hardwall them pretty easily. I will be able to go for one weather ball now. I put them into range where I could even farm them down with other Pokemon if they will be able to knock me out. But I should be able to reach another weather ball, but I don't. But it's fine. I can let this move go through. I will be able to go into my Swampert now. Oh no, I go into my Talonflame, which needed to farm them all the way down, which also works out pretty well. We see a Tabu Fini coming in, which has to take the next charge move here, which is going to be the Brave Bird. They're going to take it immediately. And I can now put them into range where I can go for one Hydro Cannon to knock them all the way out. But we will see them going to go not into their ne next Pokemon. I can go for one Hydro Cannon now. This will knock them out already, and we see the Perserker coming back in here, which is nice of me. I'm gonna go straight for the Earthquake. Let's um, see if they're going to shield it. They are not shielding it, and I will be able to win this game there in the end. Good game to my opponent. Next game, Warren again. Warren is, of course, not the best thing. The non-shadow version is way better for me, though, because it doesn't do as much damage in the lead, and I can play out the lead a little bit easier. Uh, the shadow version would have been already put me into a two shield scenario there, I think. And I actually see that my opponent lets a little brave bird go through, which is amazing for me. I can go into my polytoad, and polytoad against Grafty is still a decent matchup for me, as my moves are neutral and they usually just go for power punch. But this time around, they go for the foul play. I can just go straight for my charge moves here. The weather ball comes through. We're going to get them low. I don't know if we can be able to flip this in the zero shields. I don't think we are. But in any other shields, we would be. So maybe I should. No, I don't shield. It's going to be the power punch anyway. So we will be able to get a shield advantage here. And we're also going to get some energy advantage with this at the same time. But no, they're actually going to let this move go through. Which allows me now to go into my Swampert. 
which will be very nice. I will go and swap into my um, uh, Talonflame here to catch the move, which was working out pretty well. We can go for one Brave Bird here. This Brave Bird will do enough damage to put them into farm down range. I going to shield this move up could be potentially an earth power, just a poison fang as we see the wall rank coming back in. I still have to throw my charge moves here, which is not ideal, but um, we will be able to go ahead and no shield up there. We're actually not going to shield up there. Move was a little bit risky. If they went for the earthquake, I would have been down here, but they are running like they're going for the icicle spear. I can go for a one more charge move here. Hydro can comes through as we see that we can farm down the opponent's Nido Queen. And that's going to be a good game. Next opponent, we will see a Talonflame against Talonflame. Not ideal here, but I will be able to go into my Polytoad immediately as we get greeted by this Obama Snow. We have the Blizzard, we go straight for the Blizzard, as we will be able to do a ton of damage against this thing. Like, this puts them pretty, pretty low already, and I will be able to easily take one charge move from them as well. And I also going to be able to take a Weather Ball from them. Means we can go for another Blizzard, and Polytoad, a Water type, will be able to actually realign my team against uh, <laughs> a Bava Snow, which doesn't make any sense at all. You have a Grass and uh, Ice type against a Water type and you lose with it. It's kind of crazy. We see an Umbreon coming in. I most likely could have played this a little bit better, but I kept some energy on my Swampert and I will be able to now go ahead and go for some Flame Charges here against them. I think I should be fine surviving at least like a one more or like two more fast charge moves from them maybe. Let's see, they're gonna go for the Foul Play now. I should maybe survive another one. Let's see. I'm not going to shield here because it's not really worth it. And it's going to be another foul play. I will be able to go for another flame charge now. This flame charge will put them low enough where I can go for one hydro can and knock them all the way out. We had 100 energy. This hydro can comes through. This will knock them out. I can go for two more fast moves. Go for the hydro cannon. That's basically how you play against Talon Flame anyway. Always go for two and then throw your Hydro Cannon if you can. I will be able to get the final shield from them now and I will be able to also shield up their move. Go again for two more fast moves and I should be able to reach the Hydro Cannon again. Which should hopefully knock them out at this range and it does not but two more shots do. So we will be able to win this game. Very close one though, very close one. Very nice lead for me, the Sand Slash against us and we see a Machamp coming in. This is not ideal for me because Machamp is something that actually could beat all my Pokemon. Um, as this thing is a very hard hitting and there is not a lot that I can really swap into which can tank a lot of moves. But my Politoed kind of can tank at least two of their charge moves. I know that my opponent can now realign, which is fine for me, but what I'm going to get out of there is a ton of energy on my Talon Flame, and I know already that I will be able to beat the Sand Slash with both my lead as well as my Pokemon in the back, with it, which is the Swampert, pretty easily. So no matter what they're going to bring in here, which is going to be in this case the Drapion, I will be fine as I can go ahead and go for one Flame Shift. They tried to swap onto my Brave Bird and this was not a Brave Bird, my friend. This was not a Brave Bird. <laughs> and this was kind of hilarious because what a nice catch by the opponent, catching the fire type move on the Shadow Ice Steel type. It's it just... I'm not gonna, gonna even show my last Pokemon here, I'm just going to incinerate them down. This was kind of the play of the century, to be fair. I don't know what they tried to do there, but um, definitely didn't work out. We see a Trevenant against us. This is kind of awkward because I don't know really want to, when I want to throw. They have potentially the, um, what's it called, the Shadow Ball against me. And we see a Drapion coming in, which now can take one charge move there. And we are already two shields up against them, which is kind of crazy because like... I don't know what they want to do now anymore. We have a Talon Flame that can realign against the opponent's Trevenant. It will be able to. I most likely have to shield once here because they get the debuff here as well. But um, actually going to let this move go through as well. As I will be able to also knock out the Trevenant with my uh, Polytoad. Let's see what they want to go into now. They're going to go into their Trevenant again for whatever reason. And I will be able to go for one shield. They're going to go for the Seed Bump here, but I can knock them out already with a Flame Charge. Let's see what they have in the back with, for the final Pokemon here. It's going to be a Reggie Steel and they're going to surrender, so I don't even have to show them my Politoed. That's very nice. And we see a Skarmory against us. A very good lead for us. We see a Drapion coming in. I can go ahead and go for one Brave Bird. I can take one move here as well. And the Brave Bird will put, like, get the shield anyway. But I'm going to go actually for the Bait, which is also fine as they're going to shield up anyway, and I will be able to go ahead and go into my Swampert now. I put them into Rancher, I can knock them out with one Hydro Cannon, and I should be pretty fine here. I should have went straight for it, to be fair, like, I think that was kind of a misplay, but I can still farm them down. Never mind, they actually get to another move anyway. I think it's only an Awkward Tail, but um, 
this is fine for me. I will be able to now still do damage against the opponent's Garmory, and this is their final match. But you see already how many wins we had with this team. Like, I didn't cut anything out of there as well. Like, this team was just so nice, so working well, and I didn't expect it too much, to be fair. There are still some Pokemon that are a little bit tricky to deal with, like the Warren, as you saw already. But uh, otherwise, the Politoed is amazing. As you can see here now against the Swampert matchup, you're just so spammy. Like, it's so insane how fast you're going to get to the Weather Ball. Even though Weather Ball, Weather Ball got um, nerfed, like, basically also a good thing to be fair because Politoed was so common before. Um, you're still going to be able to beat a ton of Pokemon with this Pokemon here. I will be able to go ahead and shield up their Hydro Cannon here as well. I will be able to go for my move to get their final shield. And what I'm going to do here now, just because I want to win this game with my um, little boy there with my um, Politoed, I'm going to throw the Hydro Cannon of them onto my Flame Bird there, and I will be able to go for one with ball here and win this final game. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you have, and see you in the next video. Bye!